Hello, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, this is my uh, green manure, mustard. I tried mustard uh, in 2020 on the bean bed and I planted it a little bit too late, I think. I planted it with the uh, field beans, they're another green manure. And this time uh, it's uh, got really well and we've had some really cold weather, really, really cold weather. Uh, which is not uh, all the peas about and <laughs> considering how long they've been in and they're still trying to flower bless them but uh, it's time now to uh, cut and drop this and then I'll add uh, some more material from the compost bin to uh, top these beds up because they are newish beds and obviously all the organic materials are breaking down the worms are doing a great job and I'm going to label these four beds up and then we'll do a comparison uh, during the uh, year uh, with beds that uh, just get ordinary um, shop bought, blood, fish and bone, um, bone meal etc. But depending on what we grow here and to see what the difference is. But it's been uh, quite successful, quite pleased with it. Like I say it's dying back so let's uh, cut and drop it and do a bit of pause and record as we take out the beans, uh, the peas, sorry, as well. Now obviously this is going to uh, settle a little bit. I can't do anything with uh, that bed there or that bed because the plastic's dropped down. I'll show you before we go uh, what's happened with that. Same with the plastic here, but that will do for this year. Uh, when I line these, I tuck the plastic under at the bottom and the weight of the compost and everything yanks it down. So uh, hopefully the newer pallet collar beds won't do that. Uh, we're supposed to dig the manure in, but we're now dig beds, so we'll just keep topping them off. And that'll break down nicely. I'm not sure whether the roots uh, hold nitrogen, but no doubt they do, as all green manures. Uh, these beds won't be any good for carrots or any uh, major root crops because uh, there'll be too much nitrogen in the soil and they'll end up forking. As you know, my parsnip beds uh, will be allocated elsewhere and uh, my, uh, my show carrots and eating carrots. But at least uh, that's all done now. So I can't do anything with that bed because the plastic's dropped down. I'll show you shortly. That looks better. So we know which beds uh, are which, hopefully, with the green manure on them. The labels, uh, as you can see there, uh, that's pulled the plastic right down. So I'll scrape all the compost back and then put another slither in down uh, this side. I'm going to be fingers in a different direction because of this new tablet. But yeah, that'll uh, all sort that out. This will slowly sink down and uh, we can top these beds up then accordingly. But again, you can see what's happened there. We'll get that sorted. And as you can see, it's pretty cold here in the UK at the moment. So it's a good job my homemade compost that we've been emptying all the containers out into here uh, is uh, frost free-ish. And uh, I dump everything in, in layers, and uh, I basically just drop it all down uh, and it uh, mixes itself. Uh, potatoes and everything else that might be uh, growing in there. Uh, 
don't forget thumbs up thumbs down uh, consider subscribing it's free and uh, please uh, check out all the links below in uh, my uh, description it's looking a bit tidier again that's plot three and there's uh, plot one and my neighbours over in the cemetery happy gardening to you all till next time my friends for now